Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So, it's time for an unboxing. For those of you who like the unboxings, I like to do them. You know, I always say I like to be the guinea pig and try out new yarns and stuff. So, you guys don't let you guys know about them. So, today's unboxing comes from Michael's. Um, um, I bought all of their loops and threads. I didn't buy all they had. All the yarn that's in this box, I, if I can remember right, is Loops and Threads, their own house brand. Um, some of it isn't available in stores, and some of it's only available at certain store locations. None of it was available at my, at my Michaels. So anyways, and at the time, which it could still be going, I don't know, they had 40% off all their regular priced items. So I'm going to show you. I think a lot of this is new um loops and threads for this for the uh fall and winter that they're coming out with and i really like i like loops and threads brand of yarn i don't have a problem with it but it's a big box <laughs> from michael's here does it say michael <laughs> yeah so but i want to say though i'm not affiliated with my i'm not affiliated with michael's at all i bought all this yarn myself and I don't have affiliated links. So, I don't get paid if you buy any of this yarn. I don't care if you buy it or not. My job, part of my job on YouTube is just to buy the new yarns and tell you about them. The best that I can, my honest opinion, and let you know. And then kind of show them maybe up close to the camera so you guys can choose if you want to buy them or not. That's just some of the, one of the things that I do on YouTube. That's what I do in my own unboxings and then if it's from a new store i'll tell you about the store but everybody probably knows about michael's online but if not i mean their website is super easy to navigate shipping times just okay you know it's it's not bad i don't i don't think it's bad it, i can't remember it might took me about a week to get this maybe six days something like that but i'm gonna do it let's do it i'm excited now, I don't think I've had, I can't remember what I ordered, but I don't think that I've had any of this yarn in here. Some of it, like I said, is new for this season, and some of it is not like real new, but it's yarns I never tried. So, if I cut my leg off with this thing, no, I'm just joking, I didn't do that. Everybody always worries about me, don't cut yourself, the box cutter. I won't cut myself, I promise. Oh my goodness, this <laughs> is a box full of color. I'm going to hold it up. It's really heavy though. Oh, look at that. Oh. I'm excited to see this. Some of this yarn, this one yarn in here, I've been trying to get at my Michaels forever. And then they finally told me they weren't going to get it. So I'm like, shoot. And then it wasn't online, and then it finally came online, and so I got it, finally. I'm yakking. Okay, let's see what I got. Now, I'm going to tell you what the regular price of them are. Regular price is, but I did get 40% off what the regular price says, because they had 40% off. It's not uncommon for Michaels Online. If you don't shop Michaels Online, you should. It's not uncommon for them to have 40% off everything that's regular priced. I, I see them do that often. Not just off one item, off everything. So, um, I wait for them to have those type of sales, and then I buy yarn that's regular priced and get it for 40% off. And it's, you know, you can buy as much as you want. Okay, well, let's see what we got. One, two. I actually see a real beauty right on top. What am I going to start with? Um... <laughs> I don't even know. It's all so pretty. Gosh, I'm just digging through it like no one's watching me. <laughs> okay, okay. This is, I'm going to open it up out of this bag. Okay. This is their Loops and Threads braid big look at that look at those colors they have a lot of 
you know, not a lot, but they had a few colors. Um, they were all very, very pretty. Um, now these um, were six ninety nine a piece. It's, it's nice and squishy. It's a chain spun yarn. It is almost super identical to an unboxing yarn that I just did the other day. And it wouldn't surprise me if it's the same yarn, just from a different company. That happens quite a bit. The Premier Couture, I unboxed this the other day. Those are the same. Different colors, same yarn. I know a lot of yarns like that. Um, almost identical. I mean, not much of a difference. This has more yardage, but... Yeah. This one might feel a little softer. I don't know. That's pretty pretty close to being the same yarn. But anyways, we're going, Robin's going to go over this real quick. So it's a super bulky six... Sheen wash, dry, crochet hook, 16 millimeter. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd use one that big, but. Um, 86 acrylic, 14 polyester. The color is teal blue. So 262 yards, 10.5 ounces, or 300 grams. The color is magnificent, I have to say. That is beautiful. And you could wear a scarf out of that. You know what? I'm going to tell you. I told you the price is was $6.99. That's the price 40% off. I'm going to tell you the price that I got it for 40% off. Because that's what's on the page. I thought that was regular price. But now that I'm looking, it's not. That's the 40% off price. So I don't know what regular price was. It seems like it was kind of expensive regular price. But for $6.99, I think that's a pretty good deal. But you would have to catch it at the 40% off. Or use one of your coupons. But anyways, I got two of those. This would be great for scarves. It's so thick and bulky and soft. Cowl's blanket, if you have enough. That's very pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. Pretty. Braid big. Pretty make a lot of stuff with that. I like bulky yarns though, so. So, I got those. Alright, so remember that was the 40% off price at $6.99. This one is called York Big. I. I don't know how new it is. I think this might have been the first time I've seen it on their site. 40% off was $6.99. That's this one softer. This one's softer than that one. But that one was still soft. Get it out of the bag. Take a look at it. York Big. Oh, it's squishy soft. It looks to be, so it looks, it's fuzzy, fuzzy soft. It looks like, um, Cookie Monster off of Sesame Street or Grover. I can only imagine this is what they feel like too, squishy and soft. So it's a super bulky six, um, wash, dry, uh. 15 millimeter, I wouldn't use a 15 millimeter, 219 yards, 7 ounces, and what am I missing here? Oh, it's a 95 acrylic, 5 polyester. So it's a very soft acrylic, and that polyester in it is keeping it very soft. Very nice yarn. For $6.99, I think that's fair, considering it is a bulky 6, 219 yards. Bulky six goes a lot, lot further. I think this would make like this is soft enough that even though it's a bulky six, it will have a drape on it if you use the right stitch. Say you made like a double crochet blanket, it would be nice and drapey and it would be nice and soft. Great for a child or something, or even a throw for your couch or whatever. So that's the 
you work big. I think I got two of them, but I don't know where the other one's at, so I'll find it in a bit. Okay, now look at this. I was not expecting this ball of yarn to be this big. This is the Loops and Threads Metallic Luxe. That is pretty. Look at the shine on that. It is super squishy, super soft, and super shiny. Now, I think this might have come out this summer. Some people were telling me I should get it, that I would really like it. I don't know. I was expecting a little ball for some reason, but that is a nice size uh, skein of yarn there. So it's 475 yards or 150 grams. Um, it's pretty. This color is called Aquamarine. It's a medium weight number four, but it is hand washed, lay flat to dry. It's a 50 acrylic, 50 polyamide blend. Ain't that pretty? I can think of some yarns that it resemble. Patton's metallic, but but thinner and some hobium yarns that I have that would make a gorgeous shawl look she's got a pretty uh, cowl on it's gonna have an excellent drape but I can tell by looking that it will I can almost guarantee with 100% certainty that it will hang up on itself if you make a mistake and try to pull it out but that's okay I can get past that if the yarn is pretty and that is some pretty yarn so 40% off this was $6.99 $6.99 475 yards of that beautiful beautiful shiny metallic I like it oh, that's pretty. I got it in a couple more colors too oh look at that pink one that is pretty isn't it I'm gonna make I don't know what I'm gonna make I think I got two pinks. I, I I don't I think maybe my intentions were to make a shawl with this, maybe. That would explain the yardage that I got. But that pink's pretty, isn't it? That is beautiful. Garnet is the color. I probably we really wouldn't call it garnet, but it is pretty hot pink color. Very pretty. I like that. Remember those are six ninety nine, but that is the 40% off price. And I got one more color. Ooh, this one's my favorite. Get that green. I love that color green. It's like avocado or 70s style green. Ain't that pretty with that shine? That's some gorgeous yarn. And it's soft. And I recommend it. I recommend everything that I've showed so far. Definitely wait though until you can get them on sale. Never pay full price. If you just wait it out, there's always a sale. I like that green one too. Okay. This, I can't remember if this was new or not. Oh, that's soft. This is Loops and Threads Plush. That's pretty. Of course, brown's my favorite color. It's 532 yards, 7.5 ounces, or 200 grams. Hand wash, lay flat, bulky number five. It's 39 polyester, 29 nylon, 25 acrylic, and 7% wool. It's soft. And I like it. I am, all these yarns have been really soft. This one's soft too it looks very delicate though when you look at it you can see the different colors of hairs in it it looks like it's got some gray it appears to be chain spun can you see that like i said though it does appear to be a, a very delicate yarn i think it would take be beautiful with a nice loose lacy stitch um that's pretty and it is I'm going to make myself something with this. Maybe a scarf. What's this one? The plush. I like it. Oh. Trying to find out how much it costs. It's free. It's not on my order form. It's not free though. It's 
I got two of them. I thought these collars coordinated well together and I was going to mix them to make a scarf. Or a cowl probably maybe. Hat and scarf set. But I thought they looked well together. This one's called Champagne, of course. And this one is just called Brown. No, oh, it's so soft. It's just, it is very delicate. I'll have to be gentle when I use it. I know I will. As with any plush or velvet or some any kind of yarn like that, it's usually delicate. I like it though. I don't know why I can't find it on my sheet. Oh, there it is. So on sale, I got these for seven nineteen a piece. That was the sale price. So I don't know what that would make them regular, but seven nineteen each, a bulky five. 532 yards it's a lot of yardage for a bulky five so i got over a thousand yards i mean i can definitely make a huge shawl with that if i wanted to i can make a poncho with that considering it's a bulky five that might be what i do with it these two together i think are going to be gorgeous and it's going to be really airy and lightweight this is very lightweight very pretty love it too i'm happy with all these yarns so far let's see what we got here this is striped wonder wool uh, if i can remember right this was new this year i think 270 yards 3.5 ounces it's 50 wool 30 nylon 20 visco hand wash lay flat lightweight number three the collar is called golden tote and on sale these for 40 percent off and they were 5.99 i thought that i remember them being a little pricey that might be because of the wool content 50 percent wool i don't know but i definitely wouldn't pay full price for them not not by any means would i ever pay full price um but 5.99 I don't know. It's a lightweight three for 270 yards. It still seems, I don't know. That's iffy, but it is very pretty. It reminds me of, it's a roving yarn. So um, examples of roving yarn is Lion Brand Scarfy, Lion Brand Ferris Wool, Red Heart. Um, it's a wrap melange, Red Heart Unforgettable. Those are all roving type of yarns. And those are my favorites. I love roving yarn. So, and it's, even though this has 50% wool in it, it's not itchy. It wouldn't be itchy on your neck. I would wear a scarf out of it. The collar is very pretty. So, I, I do like this a lot. I do think maybe that, I don't know about the price. I'd have to think about that. Hand wash, of course. Lay flat because of the wool. It's a nice yarn though. Very nice yarn. I like the pretty, it's pretty colors. So that was the striped wonder wool. I would probably buy that again, but only on sale, only on sale. Um and then I have this one was new also. This was called the loops and threads washable wool stripes. And it's 160 yards, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. It's a medium weight number four machine wash, lay flat, 50% washable wool, and 30% nylon, 20% acrylic. So this does have wool in it, but you can wash it. You don't have to hand wash it. And it is a medium weight number four, 160 yards, so it's a lot less yardage than that one. Um... Now these were $5.99 on sale. I do think these are a bit pricey, in my opinion. Um, even more pricier than, than these. Um, even though this is a lightweight three, it still has a hundred more yards in it. I don't know. Anyways, it's still pretty nonetheless. Let's see, washable wool. It's not itchy. I'm rubbing the paper on my face. So. Ah, it smells like wool, too. I like wool. I like it. Whether I buy it again or not, I don't know because of the price. But I did want to get it and show you guys. Their new one. This was new this year. It looks like uh, the pattern might have some type of print on it. I don't know what it would look like worked up. 
Only time will tell. More than likely, these usually end up in giveaway. <laughs> but anyways, it's very pretty. I do like it. Price-wise, though, might detour me from buying it again. But I still like it. Okay, and this was Loops, Loops and Threads Shimmer Lux Yarn. On sale, I got them for $6.99. Now, very similar to the metallic, only with a bit more of a fuzz to it, not quite as metallic-y. I can't explain it. And plus, it's thicker. But it's a chain spun yarn. If you guys don't know what that means, you could look it up and see how a yarn that's chain spun looks. But it's soft. It's not as soft and squishy as these, but it's still very, it's soft enough that, you know, way softer than Red Heart Super Saver, but I guess that ain't saying much because that's not always the softest yarn. Let's see, hand wash, dry flat. Medium weight number four, 74% acrylic, 26% nylon. The color is called Pink Passion. Now, let's see, 437 yards, seven ounces, 200 grams. They had some really pretty colors in this, but they were all sold out. Uh, they had a black and brown one, and I wanted it so bad, but it was sold out. And I looked for it, um, I think, a couple weeks ago, and it was sold out. And so I just decided to go with this one, because a lot of the colors were sold out of it. And I didn't know when they were going to get it back in. But I do like this one a lot, too. And what I say, $6.99 was the sale price. 437 yards. It is a very thick four-weight yarn. I would almost consider... I don't even consider it a four-way. I consider that a bulky five. And I bet most of you will probably agree with me on that, too. What do you think? That's a very thick four. That's not a four. That's a bulky five. So if you take in consideration that it's not really a four, but it's more like a bulky five, 437 yards, I don't think it's a bad price. On sale. On sale. Always on sale. $6.99 is what I paid for it. I like it. That will make something very pretty. All this stuff will make very pretty things. Oh, I like it all so far. Let's see here. Oh, this is another one of the... This thing. The Wonder Wool Stripes. Still very pretty yarn. A little pricey though, but, but it does have wool in it. And sometimes wool is pricey. Let me dig around. And then I got, oh, another one of the Shimmer Lux. Okay, now the rest of this, I think, is yarn. It's a new yarn. They just came out with it. And, um, well, at the making of this video. It might be, it, it might have been out, been out now for maybe a month or so. I don't know, but I've been looking for it at my Michaels ever since I saw someone post it on Facebook. And my Michaels finally said they weren't never going to get it. And I wanted it really, really bad. And then finally someone sat, told, messaged me and said, hey, it's online now. And I'm like, yes. So I got online and I ordered every color that they have of it. So you could see all the colors. Now, these are very pretty. <laughs> if you like roving type of yarns, like I stated, such as Red Heart Unforgettable. Um, Red Heart Unforgettable is my favorite yarn. They're, these are very similar to that red heart unforgettable to me of course different colors maybe not quite as shiny and maybe a bit thinner all in all a very very gorgeous yarn and i knew that i would like this yarn as soon as i saw a picture of it it's very pretty so, so loops and threads colors and there are 507 yards or 7.5 ounces. It's a 100% acrylic. You can machine wash on gentle, lay flat to dry. And it's classified as a medium weight number four. 
Now, sometimes, you know, if you deal with the roving yarns a lot, they tend to go from thick to thin sometimes. So I can see this going from a three weight to a four weight at some spots. And that's normal for roving yarns to do that. Just, just kind of their nature. This is very, very pretty. And I got it, like I said, for 40% off, which made it $4.79 for 507 yards of a medium weight number four i think that's a very good deal considering how beautiful this yarn is it's gorgeous it's very pretty i think all the yarn i got today is very pretty i'm going to show you the colors of this so you guys are probably wondering why i'm looking at it like i'm just looking at it with that i'm in love with you i i knew though once i saw this that this was my type of yarn and it is. It didn't disappoint me. And I knew that it wouldn't. I could tell. Okay, so this one, the color is called, I think they had 18 colors, if I was, if I'm right. This one's called Rose Pottery. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Oh, so pretty. Yep. That's pretty stuff. That's the same. Yeah, look at this one. Noble Blush. That is some bright stuff. I think Evelyn would probably like something out of that. She is a big pink and purple fanatic. Now, if I was to show her all these yarns, she would choose this one and tell me to make her something out of it. So that's very pretty. It's very bright. So we got here coral fountain that is pretty rainbow ain't that pretty it's beautiful hmm. 507 yards so I, I did buy three of each color so that gives me plenty to make something big if i choose to I do wish they would have put them in bags, so like three in a pack or whatever. That's kind of why I bought three. I thought they would come three in a pack, but they're just all thrown in the box. But I'm not going to complain because they are pretty. This one again, these are my colors too. Jungle Camouflage. That's so pretty. Hmm. I'm, so, I'm really happy that I got these. Because I like searched Michaels for a long, for ever since I saw someone post them on Facebook. That's pretty too. Um, you know I can't pronounce anything right. There's a mandolin called that, I think, but you guys know what I mean. But that's what it is. I don't I don't want to even try to pronounce it because then I butcher it and then. Some people like to make fun of me for it. So I'm just going to show you guys what it is. It's pretty. It's pretty. I like it. The colors go well. I think the colors go well together in all of them. Mm, that one's pretty too. Strawberry wine. Pretty. Hmm. That's really hard to choose. I do like all these. I think, though, I have a favorite that I see in the box already, but they're, they're all very pretty. Steel City Blues. I like blue and brown together a lot. That's very pretty. How would I ever decide if I wanted, when I, when I want to make something, that what color to use? I don't know. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty golden thread it's beautiful look at that it's got green in it can you see that green in it let me try to find another one of these colors that uh maybe i only bought two of each i don't know i can't remember how many i bought of each Anyways, this is, yeah, golden thread. Let me pull the label off of it so you can see. See that green in it? That's so pretty. That's some pretty stuff. I'm not going to lie. 
It's beautiful. Whoa. And getting it on a sale for $4.79, I think, is awesome. Esmeral Esmeralda. That's pretty, too. It seems like they have colors for everybody's taste, maybe. Very pretty. Let's see. This one is coffee and cream. It's kind of a black and white, gray and white. I think it should be called cookies and cream. But coffee and cream it is. It's pretty, though, still. Perusian Plum. So pretty. These are all very pretty. This one here, another pretty one. They're all pretty. I keep saying, and there's another pretty one. But they're all pretty. Why not? Wow, that's gorgeous. Red and brown. That's a, that's a stunner right there. Ain't that pretty? Oh, it's even got some purple in it. Look at that. A hint of purple. It's beautiful. It's very pretty. All right. Um, it's this one here. Candy drop. I think that's a very fitting name for that one. Candy Drop. I like it. It's quite colorful. Let's see. Make sure I showed you all of them because I got doubles and triples and whatever. Grassy Savannah. This is a very pretty one. Another one. That's gorgeous. I'm more of an earth tone person, but I'll tell you what, I do like rainbows a lot. Rainbow colors a lot, too. I don't know. I mean, I like jewel tones, too. I mean, how can you say no to that? But really, they're all really pretty. There are, I mean, there's some, of course, that I like better than others, but there's none that I don't like. Grassy Savannah. Very pretty. I think I'm almost done here. I think I showed you almost all of them. Can I show you this one? Plum Rich. Did I show you that? I don't know if I did or not, but Plum Rich. I could have already showed you. If I did, I apologize. If not, it's pretty. Um, now I think probably my favorite one is going to be, I don't know, it's very hard to choose, but I really like this one a lot. This one's called Violet Vixen, pink and brown, and there's hints of purple that run through that brown. Let's open it up a bit more and see if there's any other colors in there. No, nope, it's main the main colors there. That's that's really pretty. That might be one of my favorites. I do have a couple more that are probably my favorites too, but this was the what I say it was? Violet Vixen. It's cause it just has hints of violet in it, I guess, to give it that name. I don't know. It's very pretty though. Did I show you all of them? A second here. Okay, I just have two more that I did not show you yet. This one is Amber Brew. I don't think I showed you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I did. That's pretty. It's got brown. There's some gold and some orange inside of it. And then the last one, and then my unboxing, is Finito. No more. This is called Cliff side park very very pretty how can you not like that that's so pretty 
I hear it raining outside right now. Oh, it's got some greens inside of there. See them? Wow, that's pretty. Okay, so that's it. I got all 18 colors. Showed you guys all the colors. Oh my, which one of these loops and thread colors were each of your favorite? There's too many to choose from. I have to say that there was a lot that I liked. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous ones. So pretty. I mean, it would be hard for me to pick a winner. I'm just showing you them, all of them, because I like all of them. I'm like picking the ones I like, but it just seems to be all of them. They're all very pretty. So I'm glad that I got them. Like I said, I wanted them and I knew I would like them. That's why I got all the colors. So, because yarn collector, not a hoarder, collector, right? Hoarders don't give their stuff away. I do though. So that's why I don't classify as a hoarder. I guess. I don't know. So that's it. That's my unboxing from Michaels. So remember, I like everything that I got. There was nothing I didn't like. I really like that Lucent Threads color. Gorgeous. I love the uh, metallic Lux yarn. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Super, super love the plush. It might be the softest yarn that I got here on the table. Very pretty yarn. And I know what I'm going to make with this. So I won't be putting this one in a giveaway. Um, I like this too. I just really wish I could have got that black and brown one I wanted. This wouldn't have been my first color choice. But I still like the yarn itself. Might end up in giveaways. But at least I got to feel it and I know I like it. I'll just wait for that brown and black one to come in. And I like the York Big. I think that would make a beautiful blanket. Very, very soft. It's soft too, like that. Like I said, reminds me of the Cookie Monster or Grover. And this one's gorgeous too. The braid big. Such a big scheme. Hmm. Very pretty colors. They had other pretty colors too. Sometimes it's hard to decide on your color choices, huh? And so, yes, I liked everything that I got. I'm not disappointed with any of it. The only um, negativity I would say was I think these, even at 40% off, were priced a, a bit high for the yardage. This was the washable wool stripes. You I, Maybe not since it's wool. I don't know. It's just probably not nothing I would buy again. And these, although gorgeous, were not priced, I mean, they were priced the same, but they do have more, a little bit more yardage and they are quite a bit prettier if you ask me than the other ones. I would consider buying these again only at 40 or 50% off though. Consider, maybe not though. I don't know. Cause it's a roving yarn and I just love roving yarns. But that's it. I hope you guys liked my unboxing. Um, you know, Hopefully I didn't bore you. I know I always say that. I always say it, but I always I always have to wonder. Are these guys bored with me? But anyways, that's it. I recommend you guys check out some of them yarns. They're all very pretty. Um, but remember, wait for them online to have a 40% off all their regular price items. Or at least wait till they have all their loops and threads on sale. And then buy it. Never pay full price if you don't have to. And you definitely never have to at Michael's online Unless you need it really, really bad. Otherwise, just wait it out for a little bit. More than likely, next, the next week it'll be on sale, in my experience. So, thanks everybody for watching. I always enjoy uh, talking yarn. You know I do. Bye-bye, guys.